All right, in this video, we're going to show you uh, how to change some settings in Canvas, um, especially for those of us who haven't used Canvas yet at all, even for some of us that maybe have taken a couple classes but uh, never really got into some of these settings. The first thing we really want to change is your default email address or the email that Canvas will use if it needs to send you a notification. Um, first thing we want to do is go up here to settings. And then we're going to see over here all the email addresses that are already verified by Canvas. Now you can see here, by default, it'll always be your username followed by bruinmail.slcc.edu. Most of us never, ever check that. So what you want to do is you want to put in another email address that you use on a normal basis so that if we need to send a message through Canvas to get to you, say uh, your lab session for tomorrow night is going to be canceled because of weather, we can send that notification to the right email address now. Uh, and I'm just going to get rid of this one real quick. Now I've already changed mine, but if you want to add another email, you just click on Add Email Address. And you can put in whatever address you want here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yahoo.com. And now you hit the Register Email button. And now it's going to send an email to that email address you just put in, you'll have to click on the verify link inside the email for it to become a, a registered email address. Now because I haven't looked at that, because this uh, obviously isn't a, a real email address, I haven't hit the verify so it isn't blue yet, it's still gray. Once it does turn blue, it'll look like this one up here, like my p.read at slcc.edu, and then you can change which email address you want to be your default email address. Now to do that, you can just come over here. And to do, to do, well, actually, we, we already see right here that this one is default. If I want to change what's default, I go to Edit Settings right here. And I can go over here and pick which one I want to be my default. Now I'm going to leave it this one because I never checked the other one. Remember to hit the Update Settings button, though. And once that updates, you can see right here, that's my default email address. That's the one I want. So that's good to go. Now the other thing we need to check is the notifications. So we're going to go over here to the left to the notifications menu. And we can see here we've got a, a bunch of different items that we can get notifications on. Um, some of these you'll, you'll want to change so you get them more often than others. Um, say like changing due dates or changing grading policies or even changing course content you can get notifications anytime those things change the biggest one you're really going to want to look at at first is going to be the announcements so that way like i said if, if a lab session gets canceled we'll send out an announcement you want to get those announcements right away so you can choose notify me right away you can get a daily summary you can get a weekly summary or you can choose not to get anything at all now you can also put in other information here. Now you notice this is my default email uh, email address. This is my other email address that's been verified. Even this one's showing up. And also I can get those notifications through Facebook if I wanted to. If I go back to uh, if I go back to my settings here, I scroll down a little bit. I've got some other things going on here too. You can put your, your Facebook in here, your Twitter, LinkedIn, anything like that at all. Um, most people don't, but, but you're more than welcome to. Uh, and again, you can go into edit settings to, to, ch to change these things if you need to. And that's that. 